Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Eminem did not shy away from dissing Diddy in his brand new album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grace. The rapper, 51, put Diddy's latest controversies on blast in several new tracks, referencing the 2016 surveillance footage of Diddy beating up ex-girlfriend Cassie, along with allegations the music executive blew up Kid Cudi's car. The footage of Diddy assaulting Cassie back in 2016 was referenced in the track Antichrist, with Eminem rapping, Next idiot ask me is getting his a asterisk asterisk beat worse than Diddy did. But on the real, though, slash she probably ran out the room with his f asterisk asterisk kin dildo, slash he tried to field goal punt her. She said to chill, slash now put it back in my a asterisk asterisk and get the steel toe. The lyrics continue. Diddy's alleged altercation with Kid Cudi is raised in the track Bad One. In her explosive 2023 lawsuit against her ex, Cassie claimed Diddy blew up Kid Cudi's car around February 2012 in retaliation for the brief relationship she had with Cudi when she was on the outs with the Making the Band alum. Cudi agreed with Cassie's claims about the car bombing, telling the New York Times, this is all true. The claim was among one of many made in Cassie's 2023 lawsuit against Diddy. She sued Combs last year, alleging rape and a range of other offenses. They settled out of court in November for an undisclosed amount. Bringing up the alleged car bombing, Eminem rapped in Bad One, the F asterisk asterisk King Bomb with the puffy on, slash I'm blowing up for Kid Cudi's car, slash in front of his house where all his buddies are. Diddy has been under fire as of late with numerous lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault and more filed against him. He has denied all the allegations made against him. His homes in Miami and Los Angeles were also shockingly raided by federal agents as part of a sex trafficking investigation earlier this year. The video of him viciously beating his ex, Cassie, came to light in May. The rapper took to Instagram to apologize, saying, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. So difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life, sometimes you've got to do that. I was f asterisk 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 get up. I mean I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses, my behavior in that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video, I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I am disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help, I got into going to therapy, going to rehab, he added. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I am committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness, I'm truly sorry. Eminem released The Death of Slim Shady on Friday, his first album since 2020's Surprise Murdered by Album. He announced he would be releasing his 12th studio album in April, just over a month after the rapper who discovered him, Dr. Dre, hinted at a new album dropping this year. Dre, born Andre Young, 59, appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live in March, where he teased a new album from Eminem. Let me explain something to you right now. Eminem is working on his own album, which is coming out this year, and I actually talked to him and he said it was okay for me to make that announcement right here on this show, Dre explained. Dre added, I've got songs on it, and it's fire. I'm actually going to hear the entire album for the first time tomorrow. He holds his music close to his chest, so I haven't heard complete, that he has produced on the album, but I'm going to hear, and he's putting out an album this year.